I've had many experiences throughout my life in lucid dreams where the moment I become aware of the fact that I'm in a dream, I try helping people around me. Normally, or it would be somebody who I know, somebody who I care about and I love. I want to tell them, hey, this is a dream. I want to wake them up so that they also know that we can do things like fly and use telekinesis and do all types of crazy stuff so that we can do it together. This is a major mistake I've made in, in my uh, pursuit of lucid dreams and practicing lucid dreaming. Uh, it happens to this day where even though I've gone through it and I know that that's a waste of time, I still do it. And the thing is, with uh, when you're trying to wake up a dream character and you're trying to tell them that they are in a dream, normally there are, there are a few things they'll do. Um, first step is denial strong denial and then they also will ridicule you if it's appropriate but most importantly what they do is they actually take steps to convince you and show you how or why you are wrong and they get you to fall back into this dream state non-lucid dream state so that you can kind of stay on their level this is something that happens in life as well and recently after cultivating more focus than I have had in recent times before this, I have become aware of the fact that this is what I've done with my life. Many, or several years ago, there was a period of one or two years, I think, maybe a little longer, I don't know, where I was happier than ever. And it was because, in a way, I became aware that this was a dream. And I started to live as if it was a dream and I knew every moment that it was a dream and it was like I was living a lucid dream you know when you become lucid in a dream or in life that moment when you realize that all these people are just dream characters and this whole place is a projection from within your own mind you instantly step into your power you step into the most powerful place that you can be you find and you step into your true center the place from which all things are created and all things are projected. I did this and somewhere along the line, perhaps it was gradually, um, I can't really specifically pinpoint what it was or when it was, you know, but over time I started to give away bits and pieces of my power to dream characters in my life as if, I started to treat them as if they were not dream characters and that they were aware, lucid, like me. But this cannot happen. It's not possible because a dream character can never be anything other than a dream character. And whether or not I am lucid within a dream does not affect dream characters being lucid or becoming lucid or becoming aware that they are dream characters. They can never become aware of that. Or, if they can, it needs to happen on their own. The only thing that I can control is my own center, my own place of power and everything that surrounds it you know everything that I project that's the only thing that I can control I cannot control what others project or what others believe um, I cannot change others and I made the mistake of trying to change others in many different ways even in very subtle ways So as I said, I have realized that this is what's happened. It took me a long time to find out why I lost that feeling that I once had. And I remember now, and I realized that that's what it was. That's what the feeling was. I was, for a year or two, steadily standing unmovable in my personal place of power, in the center of creation of my own life. And I started to give other people too much of my own power. I started to consider the opinions of dream characters in my life and even act in ways to please dream characters in my life. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that when it happens in a certain way, when it happens as I am still standing in my personal place of power. You know, If I'm just being myself and doing what I want to do and that pleases others, that's a good thing. But to step out of my way to consider the opinions and beliefs and feelings of dream characters was a mistake, just as it has been a mistake in lucid dreams 
when I've done the same thing. All that that has ever led to in a lucid dream, either it's a waste of time and then I wake up, or the dream characters when I try convincing them that they are also just dream characters in a dream, and or that they can wake up and become lucid, when I try doing that, it leads to them convincing me that I am wrong and that I'm living in a place that has laws and rules that I need to abide, that I need to follow. Um, it's so seamless how the transition happens. It's different than in a dream. It happens pretty quickly in life. It's very slowly and over time. But you don't even notice the change until recently, like I said. I've, I've um, cultivated more focus than I have had for a while and it's allowed me to look at my past, look at myself, look at the present and see what happened. And now I'm standing back in the center within my place of power. Um, things are confirming it with, within myself. I'm confirming it for myself basically. Um, this is the feeling that I once had that I used to always follow and I found it again and I'm following it again.